everybody, it's Miss Jennikin. I want to ask you a question. If I were to say, I'm going to give you five blocks, and then I'm going to take away three, would you have more or less than before? Less, huh? Before I had five and now only two. Well, that's the same concept that we're gonna be learning today with subtraction. Can you say that? Subtraction. And subtraction means take away. Can you say that? Subtraction means take away. If you watch some of my previous videos on addition, we were putting things together. We were adding and making bigger, right? Adding says things like three and two equals five. You get bigger, right? But with subtraction, five take away two, you get smaller, right? So first we're gonna take a look at our little number line. When we were learning about numbers and before and after, we looked at this number line, right? Um, I'm gonna turn it around to the 10 just so we can see it a little bit closer. Now, when we're adding, the numbers go up, right? So if I start with one and I add three more, I'm gonna move up, aren't I? One, two, three, we get bigger. But with subtraction, I might start with a big number like 10, like my 10 yellow linker cubes here, 10. And then if I take away, it gets smaller, huh? So I'm gonna keep this number line here and we'll come back to it a little bit later as we're doing some practice subtraction problems. Are you ready? Awesome, here we go. So just like addition has a plus sign, subtraction also has a special symbol and that's a minus sign. Can you say that? Minus, absolutely. So when we're saying math problems and we're using these sentence frames, we can say take away, like 10 take away eight is two, but we can also say minus and use a special symbol. We could say 10 minus two equals eight. And when we wanna show minus, we can write it like this, or we can make our special symbol, just like this. It kind of looks like a plus sign, doesn't it? Except it's only a, a line that's side to side, a horizontal line, okay? All right, so we are gonna do a little bit of a practice. Are you ready? I want you to get 10 of something, just like we did before in my addition video. I'm gonna be using my linker cubes for today, um, but you can use anything you want to from stuffed animals to rock sticks. Let's see what you come up with. Go ahead and pause the video and find your 10 things. Also, you should have either a whiteboard and a marker or a piece of paper and pencil and markers. All right, here we go. Okay, are you ready? Awesome. So when we're writing our math equations, it's gonna look like this. This is what a subtraction or a takeaway math equation looks like. You have your big number first, and then you write this little symbol called minus, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you anything else yet. All you need to know is that you're gonna start by writing the number 10, like this. Oops, how's that gonna work with my magnet? Let's see if Miss Jonathan can be smart. And think about it. Move that over. <clears throat> 10 is gonna be the first number in our math equation, okay? So if you get your markers and you write your math equation, it should start with 10 and then a takeaway symbol like this, all right? Perfect, so we have 10 
take away how many? How many should we take away first? Let's take away three. Okay, let's count three. One, two, three. So when you have your 10 items, you're gonna take three of those items and you're gonna put them over here. Say, take away. Awesome, so how many did we take away? Three. So then we're gonna write the number three and an equal sign. So this says we had 10 and we took away three. Say, take away three. Amazing. Now, how many do we have left? Can you count them? Count your own items and see. I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Can you write the number seven right here after the equal sign? That is a subtraction problem. Isn't that cool? It says 10 take away three equals seven. Want to do some more? Awesome. All right, let's do another one. So get your 10 items again. Now this time we're going to do 10 minus five. Okay, so count five things. One, two, three, four, five. Now say, take away! <laughs> and put them away from the other things. How many do you have left? One, two, three, four, five. Wow. So our equation is gonna be 10. Take away, how many do we take away? Five equals, how many do we have left over? Five. So 10, take away five equals five. I'll go ahead and give you a second to write this equation. 10 take away five equals five. Can you read it too? All right, when you're ready, you're gonna put all 10 items back together again, okay? Our sentence is always gonna start with 10 because that's the beginning. Just like with reading, how we go left to right when we read, that's the same way we read math sentences too. 10 is at the beginning, okay? So do you have all your 10 items in front of you? Cool, let's do another equation. 10, how many should we take away this time? Let's see if you can guess what I'm thinking. I'm gonna say this many, four. So if I count four of your things, one, two, three, four. Say 10, take away four. Now you say it, kind of like blast off. Take away four and push them off to the side. Now say equals. How many do you have left? If you don't have items in front of your, you, you can count mine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many do I have left? Six. Okay, I'm gonna show you my math equation and you tell me if I did it right. Yes? 10, take away four equals six. Okay, now I'm gonna erase my blanks again, keeping the 10, because that's how many you have. As an extra challenge, if you're at home and you can find 20 of something, you could try to start subtracting with 20. All right, do you have your 10 things back again? How many do you have? 10, good, we're starting with 10. Now we're gonna take away, mm, let's do five. 10, say take away one. How many? You write
write down an equation for 10, take away one. And then we're gonna show each other and see if we got it, okay? Okay, go ahead. 10, take away Did you get what I got? 10 minus one equals nine, because we have nine left over. Awesome. Now I wanna show you, we're gonna go back to our number line, and I'm gonna show you what I mean when I said before how addition is getting bigger and moving up our number line, and subtraction is going down or getting smaller. And I wanted to show you what that looks like on a number line. All right, so here is my number line with numbers one through 10, just like we were doing before with our 10 linker cubes. So when we are doing subtraction, we get smaller like this. And I'm gonna show you what I mean, okay? So when we were doing our subtraction equations, we always started with what number today? 10, because that was how many we started with, 10. If you wanted to practice this at home with bigger numbers, the number that you have first is the one that you start with. So if you're subtracting from 20, you're gonna say 20 minus and continue. So 10 is how many we use today. Can you find the number 10 on my number line? I'm gonna make my little light, I think a little bit darker so you can see it better. Uh, yeah, there we go. Can you see the 10? It's all the way over here. It's the biggest number, right? So if we start with 10 and I were to say 10 take away three, Oh, we already did three. How about, um, I don't actually think we did four. Okay, if I had an equation like this, 10 minus four or 10 take away four. 10 minus four, you're going backwards, four. So if you'd like to try this with me, um, you can take a second and pause the video and draw a number line like this with 10 squares or circles or just the number up to 10. Okay, now 10 means we start right here. Yes, at 10. And we're gonna take away four. Can you jump backwards like a frog four times? One, two, three, four. Where did we get to? Six. Is that the same thing as this? 10 take away four equals six? Yes, we can use a number line when we do subtraction too. So if I have 10 and I wanna jump backwards seven spots or eight spots, let's do that one. 10 minus eight. I start at 10 right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna jump backwards eight. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where did I stop? At the number two. That's right, so 10 take away eight is two. Do you see how I was jumping backwards on the number line counting my takeaway so I could find how many I had left? All right, so this was our subtraction math video. I will probably post another one next week to help us remember more about subtraction and takeaway. But for now, keep practicing on your own, either by using your 10 items and saying, take away! and seeing how many you have left, or by using a number line and counting backwards to find the answer, okay? In either way, I hope that you have a great time and happy learning. <laughs>